you thought that I showed you everything there is to show you about 12 gauge aluminum wire, but you were mistaken. And now you have to feel bad about that. That's okay. I won't hold it against you. But let's have some fun. More fun, more fun, more fun, more fun. What is this? It is four and three quarter inches. <laughs> four and three quarter is a good amount. I like it. Let's make a bunch of it. I like it. The same exact length. Like that one. Okay, 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 that's enough. Let's do this. Oh, hammer. Once again, go to Babies R Us to get a baby anvil. It's made for little toddlers that want to start their blacksmith experience early. You'll find them right next to the baby blow torches and the baby jackhammers. Get a hammer or anything that hits that's heavy. Get like something a little bit soft like that. That's leather. I think it's soft. Get like a piece of wood. Put it on your lap and start hammering. I Calypso, the places you've been to, the things that you tell us, the stories you tell. I Calypso, I sing to your spirit, forever and ever all will be so well. But you, Aliya, Baladi, da, bidi, di, di, la, da. All right. Now this is going to be like the most fun and easy thing ever. And I know I say that every other video, but this time I really, really, really mean it. So the camera will just work with me. Camera. That's where we want to focus. Right there. Right there. There we go. Just grab this with your round nose pliers. Just tiniest little bit. Almost on the edge. And just wrap them around like this. And make a little loop. Make a little baby loop. And then just start wrapping it. Relax. Just enjoy the process. And you can just keep, you can hold them on here like this. And you can just keep turning them around like that. Like it's no trouble, no effort. Look at this. And you just keep making your little scroll. Just scrolling it down. Right? And then um, you decide how big you want it. I want these kind of small. So that's all I'm going to do. And I, I don't know how much I used to make that, or I would figure out how to do the next one. But I don't know. So, I don't even estimate. It's probably like... Now that's too much, but you'll see, because I'm going to stop in the middle. So we're going to turn this around. And just keep rolling. Rolling all day. Not bad, because that's what I wanted. Each, each of these is tiny. It's like the size of a green pea. And that's what I want. Now watch this. Turn them. Just hold them gently. Turn them all the way around again like that. And you have a little scrolled piece. A little bracelet piece. Now you can bend these like that to make the curve around the wrist. Or you can just have them straight. Because if you have the curve around the wrist, you got to make sure they're not going to flip-flop. But if you just make them straight, they can go any which way. You can also roll them a little tighter after you twist them, and it'll give you like this S curve. Kind of crazy, right? You can also make it big and small like this, and then when you twist them, now you have like, oh, let's roll those a little tighter again. So that's another way to do the connectors, but that would actually make a cool pendant too. We'll just put a little jump ring and cord. Bam! Get a little tighter. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Can you feel it? Touch it. Touch your screen. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Here's another thing you can do. You can scroll it like this and slowly start to layer it down like that. Right? You gotta make sure it doesn't fall off. Every once in a while you gotta readjust it, but go careful, go slow, and you'll start to get, whoops. What am I doing? Anyway, you get the idea. And then you get like this. You can also just um, squeeze these back together. You can also just roll it regularly, and then later on, you can put your round nose pliers in there and stab it and push 
those parts up. And if, if they don't push up evenly, you can uh, come back and push different parts of them like that. You just make like a layer cake. It's kind of cool, right? It's like a, looks like some ancient Babylonian structure or something. That's what I said. I said what I said. That's what I think. This one, I, I made the middle part a little shorter, a little small, thinner. And let's still twist it all the way around. And oh, not bad. And you gotta be careful, at some point it will break, so you can't push the limits forever. Or can you? I don't know, Just the point is just have a lot of fun with this. And then put a bunch of them together and put some jump rings in the middle. And now you gotta be careful, with this one you can't get a jump ring around there unless you have a really big jump ring. That's where the, the little scrolls work better. You're gonna connect them. But anyway, have fun. If you do the, um, What's it called? If you, if you hold it like this and you put your fingernail in, in there and you, you can get like a different kind of bend out of it. See how that's kind of getting a, like a geometric pattern going on there? You can also put the pliers in there to like, you get like a cinnamon roll, you get like a satellite, because the possibilities are endless.